This is a Da Vinci Nano 3D printer, which I'm currently filming um, a print happening, which I'll put at the end of this video. Uh, it's a very cheap printer. I got it for £60, which is nothing. I mean, you know, it's as, about as much as a cheap normal printer, 2D printer. Uh, I think the regular price for this is about twice that, about £120, £110, £120. Uh, but it's the place that I got it for £60, there, there's also, I've, I've spotted another place which does it for £60 as well. So you'd probably be able to find it for around £60. This is the non-Wi-Fi version, so there's a Wi-Fi version, so maybe that's why they've reduced the price of this, I don't know. Uh, but for £60 you can't go wrong. Um, it's print area, because it's a nano version, which is like the really the smallest version of this printer from XYZ Printing. The, uh, I believe the print dimensions, maximum print dimensions are 12 centimeters cubed, which is a fair size, you know, if you just go on a bite to mess around and learn about 3D printing. Um, certainly I'm, you know, this is exactly why I bought it, is so that I can just mess around and not care if uh, anything happens to it. When you get it, you do it won't the software you need to download. So you, you have to register with the uh, with the website, and you just have to give it your an email address and password, uh, and that that will allow you to download the software for free. Uh, but once you've downloaded the software, when you run the software, the first time you use the software, the software is going to want to connect to the website using your login details. So you just need to remember to do that. Uh, but after that, I don't believe it needs to log in again. Uh, it'll come up with login prompts, but you, just, you can just uh, cancel the login prompts after that. I'm not going to cover how to set up the printer or feed the filament into it, because if you follow the diagrams in the manuals that come with it, uh, it's very simple and easy to do. Uh, but I will just say, point out that these uh, little screws, and there's one at the back in the center as well, for leveling the table. If you ever do have to level the table, and you shouldn't have to, uh, I think it comes leveled anyway, but I, I had to level it uh, because I was messing around with it. Uh, when it says, uh, when the software says level it, and what you have to do is it, it says points to this one and says turn this one 1.5 and turn this 0.25, something like that. When it says turn it 1.5, it doesn't mean one is a full revolution. Uh, one is from this, um, this little tag to this tag. Uh, so a full revolution would be if it said turn it four. And if it says turn it half, then it's turn it halfway between those two. Uh, so that's uh, something which it might well say in the manuals, but I never really picked up on it. So it comes with 600 grams of filament. Uh, and when you load it into the printer, the software says it's 100 meters. Uh, so I've printed out a couple of example things. And I'm going to, so this is like, huh, this is uh, top to it, like a coin box. And I'm going to print in this video, hopefully I'll print out um, the body to this. Uh, and also printed out this head as a first example. And it, actually, the, the results are pretty good, really. Uh, where it's got overhangs, you get like a little bit of, it doesn't handle them brilliantly, but it's it's such a cheap printer, it really doesn't matter. So it looks like she's got a nose ring. It looks like she's got earrings on the on the bottom of her ears as well. Uh, but really, I mean, you know, where it's cast off at the top as well is probably a bit. But but apart from that, I mean, for for cheapness of the printer, it's uh, very good quality. And like I say, I'll print the rest of this in this video as shown an example of how to, how to do it. And this this head that I printed out, uh, after, this is the first thing I printed out. And after it printed out, it said I'd used two meters of, uh, of the filament. So it comes with 100 meters of filament. So actually you can do quite a bit with that 100 meters of filament. So the software which comes with it, which you have to download for their website. That's what I'll cover mostly in this uh, as a demonstration of how, how to start off printing it with it. Uh, because there's a few things about it when you first start when you open it it keeps prompting you for a log on prompt so the first time you open it you have to log on so that it can um, associate you with the online your online account but after you've associated it you don't actually have to log on but every time you open the software it'll ask you to log on it have a prompt which pops up and just cancel that prompt and then uh, there's a two, there's a couple of pieces of software so I'm running it on the Mac um, I don't usually use my Mac actually, so this is basically what I'm going to be <laughs> dedicated to using my Mac for the uh, from now on. Uh, but I've also I usually use Linux, um, and I've got I usually use virtual uh, VMware to run virtual machines on Linux, and I've got a, a, a Windows 8, so you, the software should run on anything from Windows 7 upwards, uh, but it has to be 64-bit Windows. So. Uh, my virtual machine, which is a Windows 8 virtual machine, was 32 bit, so it refuses to, to run on that. Uh, also, it specifies in the software 
when you look at the spec online that you need eight gigabytes of RAM, but actually you don't, you can run it on uh, a lot less than that. I'm guessing that actually what you really need the massive amounts of RAM for is if you, um, if you ever have like really complex things to print and I, you know, the more data you have, the more RAM you're going to need, but uh, don't be put off by the fact that it says eight gigabytes of RAM because it runs on less than that. This Mac hasn't got eight gigabytes of RAM. I can't remember how much this Mac has got. If I take a look in here, I think it tells me in here. Um, Oh, four gigabytes on this. Um, so it'll certainly run on this four gigabyte Mac. Um, so I, I can't vouch for how the software runs on Windows, but it probably runs pretty much exactly the same as it will run here. Uh, I've downloaded the full Maker Studio thing, uh, and I've just installed these first two. So in, I haven't got an engraving head, and I haven't got any kind of scanner, so I haven't installed those two. Um, but when you click on these, the first on the Mac, the first time I think, I think it will do is install uh, each one of these when, once you click on it once. Now, the print one, XYZ print, is for actually just printing things. So if you just download something and you want to print it, in theory you can go into that and print it. But I, with these objects, these demonstration objects, uh, when I tried to print them, it said, oh no, this is, uh, this is some other type of filament. You don't have that filament, you've got PLA loaded. I was thinking, well, actually, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I just want to print this this as a demonstration object. Uh, but it, it refused to print it. But the, So the way around that is actually to go into this XYZ Maker, load up the STL file in there. And then if you go from there, and I'll, this, is, this is what I'll do right now. So if I go into, into XYZ Maker. Uh, so this is an example of a login prompt, but you can just click on the close window for that. That's, that is annoying, but then again, as the printer is so cheap, really, it's not really that much of a setback. Uh, so I'll go File, and then Open, and then I'll find the file that I want. So it gives you a little preview in here. So that was the head one. Uh, that was the top one, which I printed as well. And then this is the case, coin case body, uh, which then all, the, all of these uh, are off of their website so they've got like a library of stock uh, stuff that people have uploaded to it and you can just download a lot of them for free uh, so that's what I did for just to do an example um, but you it, it just has to be an STL file um, uh, so you can it doesn't have to be off of their their site so if I open that one up it puts it in the, in the middle here uh, and then all you have to do is uh, click on so go on here file and then xyz print plugin uh, and that opens the xyz print software but if you go through it this way it doesn't refuse to print whereas if you go straight into the xyz print software and try and print it say oh no it's got like the wrong type of filament anyway there's another annoying logon prompt okay so once you've got it in here now that if you when you're going through the setup of the printer there is um, a process which you can, which you have to calibrate and load the filament. I'm not going through that. I'm I, that's already been. I've done that. Uh, so I'm just going to take you through how how you actually set up, uh, how you actually print one of these objects. So anyway, I've loaded the object, uh, and all it's, it's all you have to do is up what's up here. Really, it gives you some details of the stuff down here, but you don't have to worry about it too much. So click on prepare first of all, and it slices it into uh, into the things that it's going to send the data it's going to send to the actual printer itself and it immediately comes up with print so that was grayed out when if I came straight into this software but now it doesn't care and it says oh yeah you can print that no problem and here it gives you yeah, um, how long it's going to take so five hours 21 minutes it reckons for this so the head took about I think it was about three quarters of an hour and so did the coin lid case but, but I left this until last for the demonstration of this this video because I knew it was going to be the longest thing to do and I wanted to do a couple of demo prints first um, so all I have to do is click on print and it will start the print process. And I'll record the print process and um, hopefully be able to play it back in fast speed sort of thing. Uh, but once you've print, uh, clicked on print, uh, you just click on dashboard. Yeah, you can leave on this screen if you want, but actually dashboard gives you a bit more information about the printing process. It just tells you what's happening here. 
tells you about the print head, the temperature, so it's uh, warming up the print head. Tells you about your filament, so I've got 97 of 100 uh, meters, so those two uh, demo prints did um, took three meters of uh, the filament, so you can, actually you can probably print quite a bit of stuff with just the filament you get with it. That's actually something else uh, that's a bit annoying about this printer is you have to buy the filament that comes with it uh, that, that they distribute uh, because they have these things called um, RFID tags and the tags tell the printer what type of filament it is, how long it is and if you don't use, uh, if you buy some standard stuff without this RFID tag uh, the printer just won't recognise it. Now, a lot of the places you get it from, the, the filament from, it actually is more expensive than standard filament. However, there there are, I've found a, a place which is just a standard uh, place where anyone could go to to buy it. And it looks about the same price as uh, standard filament, only it's got the RFID tags with it. So, and it is the official, uh, the official stuff, because it's the official, um, the official distributor of the, the, of the stuff. So it's not, not knock off or anything like that. Okay, so now it goes, uh, it shows you the print progress and that'll go through to 100% and when it's finished printing it'll beep uh, to tell you the printer will beep to sort of draw your attention, uh, your attention because you're not going to sit here for five hours watching it sort of thing. I'm about to show the print process sped up but this is the result of the print process and so this is the top from before and this is the actual body of the coin case and the uh, top has a couple of grooves printed within it and the uh, case has the uh, corresponding bits to, to hold the lid in and the lid just slides in. It is, it's a bit a bit loose, there's nothing to retain it in there but it's uh, it's quite good and it's something somewhere to put my uh, shiny pennies. 